you know, to, again, to maybe reframe this one a little bit, um, I'm two for two on reframing both your questions now. So, so thanks. Uh, that, thank we're people, we're so accustomed to that. <laughs> that's, that's what the people we interview do all the time. We're really just props. The questions we ask are irrelevant. And when you reframe a question, it helps you provide the kind of answer you want it to provide. So yeah, what, go what's ahead. That, what's that, do, do, you have a, do you have a question for my answer? Um, exactly. <laughs> Welcome to Leadership Next. The podcast about the changing rules of business leadership. I'm Alan Murray. And I'm Michal Evram. You know, there are lots of people who are worried that AI is going to eliminate jobs, maybe their job. There are others who say, oh, it'll eliminate some jobs, but it'll create even more. And all of us are just speculating, but you have the data. <laughs> so what does your data show? Where, where are skills and jobs uh, in less demand and what skills and uh, are in more demand as we move into this profound technological change? It's really important for people to change the way you think about jobs. Jobs historically have been thought about as a title. Um, but fundamentally, if you can take a different view, which is jobs as a set of tasks, your job is a set of tasks, my job is a set of tasks, everybody's job to be done is a set of tasks. And when you can start to really break down every job as a set of tasks, you can then take the next step to understand where technology can help either augment uh, or make certain tasks more efficient or certain tasks are going to be just completely automated. Then you start to realize that, oh, you know what? Like if your job is just a set of tasks that is going to be automated, you need to start looking for a new job. So one of the things that we're doing across LinkedIn is taking every role in the world and doing a score of certain jobs as tasks and, and understanding that, hey, there's certain jobs like, you know, a lot of copywriting or translation type jobs where the majority of the tasks to do those jobs are tasks that can be automated. So, you know, it's important to start thinking mm -hmm. about uh, a, a new job. The majority of jobs, though, in the world are the types of jobs where, you know, a, a, a specific portion of those tasks will be automated and you need to learn how to leverage those tools to help uh, in that part of your job, but still a lot of human skills are needed for uh, for the majority of the jobs. Yeah, so give us some examples of skills that you think are gonna be more valuable in the future because of what's happening now. First and foremost, it's, it is really important to learn, learn, learn your way into using these AI tools. It's only going to help you in whatever job that you're doing to you know be able to leverage these tools to help you be more productive. My big bet is on people skills, um, you know, learning how to build people skills, communicating, um, knowing what to do when your camera falls off of your computer during a podcast interview. Um, <laughs> no. Which, which just, just so our listeners know, just happened to happened. Ryan. He did a total eclipse right in the middle of the interview. Um, he was just gone. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, EQ, communication, collaboration, creativity. That's a place where... Um, you know, I, I would be putting a lot of time and effort um, if I was just entering the workforce or thinking about what the future might look like. And then I think that there's this concept, which is for so long we've been taught or thought about the importance is to build for stability. And I think the future is more about building for agility instead of stability, uh, mm -hmm. being able to adapt being able to, you know, take on something new. The way I did my job last year is going to be different the way I'm going to do my job this year. So I think a lot of that goes into what I would at least be thinking about right now entering the workforce, or at least what I'm thinking about for myself transitioning, you know, through a leadership job that's always changing as well. So what role do college degrees play in all of this? Are they important for different reasons? Because um, it's not just the skills that you accrue through a degree, maybe not just a four-year degree, um, but but it's also EQ, right? The, the last part is spot on, especially on the EQ side. And, you know, I'm not sure that outside of um, being with a group of people doing work or being with a group of people at a school, et cetera, there, there's been a real strong way to teach um, you know, a lot of people skills besides just kind of being in that environment. But I think it's an area of opportunity that, you know, as a society, we need to really figure out. Um, 
in terms of you know college degrees in general, I think degrees are uh, important insofar as they contain the set of skills that are really important and necessary um, to be productive in society. Historically, recruiters would use degrees as you know the, the way to assess or find talent because we had no better view to do it. So for example, you, you see a lot of recruiters do things like, well, I just want to see candidates that you know went to Princeton. Someone went to Princeton, they must be smart. Um, or they have, you know, you know, or, or previous company. This person used to work at Google, they must be smart as well. And when you only look at, I don't know, the 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 degree or the pedigree on its own, as, a, as opposed to the skills underneath it, two things happen. Number one, everyone's looking at the same group of talent because all the recruiters do the same search. Show people who you know used to work at Google and went to Princeton. <laughs> it's like everyone's looking at this tiny group of people, which does not create a very equitable or efficient labor market. Um, and number two, it turns out that you know, oftentimes those degrees alone aren't signal enough for what's need to be you know done inside of the job. So we've been pushing a lot on you know, skills are the currency, the actual skills that need to be done. And it falls in line really well with this idea of the future about looking at jobs as a set of tasks, as opposed to just the job title itself. I think across the board, we're requiring, the site is going to require ourselves to go a, a level deeper in terms of what are the actual, you know, skills or tasks to be done instead of just relying on the, you know, the name of the degree alone. But um, I really think you're onto something though with the EQ point, And that's something we need to figure out. Thank you.